so um, we're just about to start the press conference. We are aware that ZANU-PF has no program or agenda to sell to the people of Zimbabwe, having brought us into the trench we are in. In the runoff, violence will thus be the new weapon to reverse the people's win. In this regard, we know that thousands of army recruits are being recruited, militants are being rehabilitated, and some few claiming to be war veterans are already on the war path. To waste a lot of time, as you can see. It is now therefore imperative for Sadat, the AU, and the UN to move in to prevent this chaos, violence, and dislocation that now grips this country. African leaders surely must now say no to Mugabe. And I'm sure that if the result, all those serving in state institutions, in particular those in the army, the police, that their jobs are safe, that there will be no retribution and vindictiveness. I want to say to our veterans that their pensions are safe and that we acknowledge the role they played in liberating this country. I want to say to those on the land that no land will be taken away from people save when we rationalize against multiple farm ownership. I want to say to President Mugabe, please rest your mind. The new Zimbabwe guarantees your safety. I am calling on President Mugabe to begin a dialogue with me to begin the process of peaceful and orderly democratic transition of government.